Hey yo, what's up everybody? Holmes here and welcome back to more Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. Real walkthrough, not a playthrough, with my triple katana build. And yeah, welcome back. Today we are going to be taking on the Nameless King and his pet dragon. So yeah, let's do this. So the way to uh, access the boss fight is you just come over here and you hang a right. And there's going to be a switch over here you can interact with and just interact with it and a cutscene will play. Alright, now we can go and uh, take on the Storm King. It's, it's all like stormy now and stuff. <laughs> we can we can walk on clouds. Alright, let's do this. So, the first thing that's gonna happen is he's gonna descend from the sky. Whoa. That looks so cool. That looks so cool. Uh, for this fight, we're just gonna two-hand our katana here. And let's see. Okay, if he does this move, get in close and roll into him, okay? You want to get in close for that move. Um, and attack the dragon's head. Don't attack the, the legs or anything like that, because it's not going to do any damage. Well, it's barely going to do any damage. Um, the head is the weak spot. And if it rears up to do a fire attack, you know, just run into the middle. The, where his neck is, that's how you get, um... That's how you evade that fire breath move. If he starts walking close to you, the Storm King is probably going to try to melee you and you can just either dodge into him or dodge side by side depending on what he does. Because he, sometimes he swings his spear and I dodge into him, okay, and get a couple of hits on the head, alright, and if you stun him, if you deal enough that, uh, damage to the head, you can stun him and you can go up for a critical attack, alright. Uh, he still has one more move yet than shown off. It's where he flies around. Oh, and by the way, if you stay near the dragon's like stomach area, he will, he will um, fly up and he'll breathe fire straight down. Okay, so that that only happens if you stay near his stomach. If you don't, it's all good. He won't do that move. All right, here's the move that I've been waiting for. His little flying lightning move. So you can just dodge into a lightning when he throws it, and watch out because he has a follow up right there. You can dodge into that as well. So yeah. And down goes the dragon. Alright, Stainless King, let's go. Let's see what he's gonna do. Uh, Alright, he does the flying spear stab. You can dodge into it and get a couple of hits in with that. Uh, this move, it can lead up to a third hit like that. Alright, and so he gets some damage in after the third hits. Alright, this swing to the side, he can follow it up, so be careful. This slow charge stab, be careful. Alright, you can dodge to the side for that one. Alright, swing to the side, one, two, okay? I got hit there and that kind of 
kind of that kind of sucked, but yeah. All right, let's just get back and get a uh, heal off. Okay, swing to the side. One, two. All right, get a couple of hits in. There we go. One, and this poke right here. Ooh, this can lead up to a third poke. All right, second poke and third poke. All right, and you, if you're feeling brave, you can get some um, hits in while he's trying to poke you. So up to you guys, whatever you guys want to do. Or you can just wait for a third poke and then get some damage in. Alright. So yeah, and if you deal enough damage to him, you can stun him and you can go in for a critical hit like that. So yeah. And after you drop his health down below 50%, he'll get a few new moves. Let's see. Alright, this move right here. You can dodge it by rolling into him and just stay behind him so you can avoid the thunder shock. And if he charges up his lightning spear like that and shoots lightning to the air or to the sky, um, you know, get ready to dodge. The moment he shoots it up to the sky, get ready to dodge, right? Uh, lightning spear throw, dodge into it to avoid it. Let's see what else he's got. He's, <laughs> this is going by really fast right here. Okay, lightning stab, dodge to the side, get a couple of hits. Uh, lightning storm, dodge, and get a couple of hits. Alright, critical, and he's done. Alright, so yeah, that's how you deal with a nameless king. Uh, it's pretty much just like... The champion Gunther fight, you just have to watch his moves and not get too greedy. Alright. There we go. That's the Nameless King. And uh, we pretty much got all the bosses now. So yeah, in the next episode, we'll be taking on the final boss. But before that, let's go ahead and grab up some Titanite Slab. And also, in the far end, there is um, Ornstein set. A.K.A. Dragon Slayer set. So yeah, for those of you guys who want, you know, really love Ornstein, there you go. And if you didn't pick up a spear, it's right on the gate area, right? Right in front of us. So, yeah. It's gonna be right over here, his spear. If you didn't pick it up. Pretty sure you guys... If you, could, if you guys have been following this guy, then you should have gotten it already. So, yeah. There we go. Dragon Slayer set. Um, yeah. Looks pretty cool. And let's go and check out his soul... There we go. Now let's go ahead and head on back to Firelink and do some cleaning up. Let's tie up some loose ends, guys. Alright, here we are, back at Firelink. Let's go ahead and finish up some side quests. Uh, first up, uh, I'm just gonna go and do Leon Hart's side quest. Like, finish up his side quests all together before we do anything else. So just come over here and talk to him. Kindled are we, and fast on the trail of the Lords absconded. Then these red eyes are for you. Use them to pillage enemies and briefly heighten your strength for your duty. What else are unkindled ashes good for? <laughs> All right. So upon finishing his first dialogue, since we got the item we need already. Uh, let's just go ahead and re refresh this area. So we're just gonna reload file link and I'll see you guys when we get back All right, we are back Let's go ahead and talk to Leonhardt again so we can get the net uh, the next part of his quest Well, hasn't it been some time? I'm Leonard the Ringfinger Remember me? 
I slipped you those red eyes some time ago. You're making quite an effort of it, so I thought you might like to know. If you yearn for a proper red eye orb, one that is uncracked, then kill the Dark Wraith, survivor of the man swallowed by darkness. He has been a prisoner for many ages in the deepest cell in all Lothric. I can see it in your eyes. If you didn't invade, didn't pillage, whatever would you do? <laughs> okay. So we just got a key, let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, so we're gonna need this key to access the lift chamber at the high wall of Lothric. So let's go ahead and go over there. We're gonna go to the second bonfire. Okay, so high wall of Lothric, where you at? Second bonfire, let's go. All right, here we are. And from here, just take the take the stairs down, all the way down. It's kind of close to where you rescue gray rats. This guy sees me. Get out of here. <laughs> yeah. These guys don't... Uh, they barely even do any damage now. Alright. Finish him off. And the uh, elevator gate is going to be over here so you just use a key and you can now take the elevator down to take on the dark wraith that he wants you to kill so just take this elevator down um yeah this dark wraith should be no problem for us since we are pretty damn overpowering right now we got like our end game build right here we just need like a couple more stats once we hit level 100 that's like that's the build right there so you can just creep up on this guy get a backstab and while he's getting up, charge up your heavy attack, and down he goes. And we got the red eye orb. And he also dropped his sword. Wow, okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and check out the red eye orb. So with this orb, you can invade infinitely. So there you go, your invaders out there. <laughs> and that's pretty much it. Um, let's go ahead and head on back to Firelink since we're done here. So yeah, I'll see you guys once we get back. Alright, here we are back at Firelink. Let's go ahead and talk to Leonhart again to get the next part. Aha, you found a proper red eye. Brilliant. I knew you were no ordinary man. Now invade and pillage all you like. And if you grow weary of your duty, you too may become a finger. Come on, give yourself to Rosaria of the Cathedral of the Deep. <laughs> Alright, so the next part is going to be at the Cathedral of the Deep with Rosaria. So let's go ahead and port over there. Alright, here we are back at the Cathedral of the Deep. First thing we want to do, take care of this guy so we can get some free stuff. And also right here, there's a pickup that we never grabbed before. It's the Thorn Set, alright? Uh, before we, like, when we went through the Cathedral of the Deep for the first time, we killed um, the Black Phantom with that armor on, but we never got a chance to pick it up. So yeah, it's time to get it. And this the um, Thorn's armor is actually pretty cool because when you have the set on, when you roll against an enemy, like you roll into an enemy, they take chip damage. So that is pretty cool. And um, yeah. So anyways, that's that. Next up, Rosaria is right here, right? So the way to continue um, Leonhardt's side quest is you have to join the Covenant. And also, after joining the Covenant, you are going to have to offer her a Pale Tongue. So let's go ahead and do that. Just one is good. Okay. And upon doing that, we're set with Leonhardt's quest. But before that, she's also going to be the NPC that's going to be able to help you reset your stats if you like messed up or whatever and also change your appearance. Okay. So yeah, there's that. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the covenant item she gave us. 
Uh, it's right over here. Okay, so yeah, that's that. Let's go ahead and talk to Leonhard. He's gonna be right across, just chilling right there, leaning against the wall, all cool like. Ah, so you've chosen to serve Rosaria after all. She will be pleased with me for finding her another finger. <laughs> But be warned, my friend. Rosaria's fingers need only fetch tongues for their mistress. Otherwise, we are free, unchained. Like Yellowfinger, you can choose to believe that all fingers share camaraderie. But do not force your romance upon the rest of us. <laughs> okay, so after you're done chatting him up, you're gonna want to reload this area. So we can continue with the next part. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so after we load the area and you come back, you will now see that Rosaria is dead. And there's a black eye orb. Okay. Now we gotta do some detective work. Um, I'm gonna guess that the killer is gonna be at Anolando where um aldrich shows that so yeah let's go ahead and go there because that's what my gut feeling is telling me so where the heck is it uh there we go aldrich chamber let's go all right here we are where aldrich used to be uh so we're just gonna head on up over here take this elevator up make sure you have your black eye orb with you and just come over here take these stairs up and once you get in this room yep you feel the black eye orb quivering okay so let's go ahead and check it out let's see what's up with the black eye orb oh we can use it all right let's find the killer Alright, so yeah, once you invade, you're gonna invade Leonhardt, he's the killer. Seems like he's he's kinda going nuts over here. And when like when you drop his health down, he'll start talking and stuff. And yeah, and he uses a lot of spells and stuff. Yeah, it's fucking annoying. And his 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 weapon can shoot out this moonlight like magic wave thing which does a good amount of damage too so be careful yeah and also his melee attack itself it does decent damage as well so um try not to tank him you know try to finish him off as quick as possible look at that magic spam right there holy crap and he also heals <laughs> he heals like what three to four times he's got like quite a bit of estus with him Okay, I don't think he can parry you though. Um, I haven't been... He has never landed a parry on me. So I, I don't think he can parry you, but... Yeah, he does have a shield. Yeah, I keep on chugging that Estus. Okay. Wow, look at that damage right there. Some crazy damage. Come on. Damn. How much focus points do you even have? Um, he's got like some massive healing items right there. Okay, let's just... Oh my god. Come on. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, out of Estus? Mmm! There you go, bitch. There you go. Alright, so upon kicking his ass, um, you can get Rosaria's Soul, the Crescent Moon Sword, and the Silver Mask. So guys, this is how you get the Silver Mask, alright? 
Um, you guys can also kill him early on at Fire Link, and he'll give you the Silver Mask after killing him. Uh, but if you do that, you'll be missing on, on Rosaria's Soul and the Crescent Moon Sword, just so you guys know, alright? Um, Rosaria's Soul, you guys can use this to trade for uh, Miracle back at Fire Link if you want to, or you can give it back to her, up to you guys, whatever you guys want to do. Um, even if Rosaria doesn't have her soul, you can still use her to like reset your uh, stats and appearance, so just so you guys know. But anyways, let's go ahead and go on back to Fire Link. Okay, we're back at Fire Link. Let's go ahead and finish up another side mission. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Farron Keep. Actually, let's go to the Abyss Watchers spawn fire because there is going to be an NPC there that we're going to have to kill. So let's go ahead and go over there and yeah. Alright, here we are at the Abyss Watchers bonfire and if you turn around, there's Hawkwood. What up buddy? What are you doing here? Alright, so for this fight, I do want to warn you guys, um, if you guys do get your ass kicked by by Hawkwood here, he will take your Twinkling Dragon Torso Stone, alright? So if you feel like you're losing, you can always run back down to the Catacombs and then just Homer Bone it out of here. Or use the Coil Sword Fragment. But this guy shouldn't be too tough, so, you know. But um, also, he has Estus, so, well, he didn't even heal. Whatever. So uh, just watch out for that. But yeah, it, he, he shouldn't be too tough. So there you go, Hawkwood is down. Let's go ahead and check out the Twinkling Dragon's headstone that he gave us. There we go. And uh, onward, let's go ahead and go to another bonfire here at Farron Keep. The second to last one right here. Because we're going to need to grab up some stuff here. So I will see you guys in a bit. Alright, here we are, and we're just going to head on back up. So, remember when we fought the stray demon, or that giant white demon that was on top? Yeah, we're going to go back there because Havel set is going to be there. So, that's that's how you get Havel set. You kick his ass at um, the Arch Dragon Peak, and after you kick his ass, you come over here, and you just take these steps up. Pretty much, it's just you gotta have to keep going up straight over here, and on the far end, you're gonna see Havel set. So yeah, let's let's just sprint over there. I wonder why his set is all the way back here. Like, what the heck? But yeah, here we go, Havel set. This set was so popular in Dark Souls 1, like, it was like a whole bunch of, Dark, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, a whole bunch of people run around with this set. It is crazy, because the poise, this thing gave a lot of poise back into the, um, the other two Souls games. So people would be like wearing this as a tank. Yeah, anyways, um, let's go ahead and head on back to Fire Link once again. Okay, so here we are back at Road of Sacrifices. I'm probably just gonna cut out the part where we went back to Fire Link because I didn't do anything there. I just went there to sit in the bonfire so I can get back here. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna cut back, uh, cut that part out. Um, yeah. So from the first bonfire of Road of Sacrifices, you just you know retrace your step back up over here. This is gonna take you back to the Undead Settlement. So yeah. Because there's two items, here, well, there's two things here we want to grab. Or three, I don't know. Um, so first thing, you want to come out over here. So this is where um, Egon is going to be. I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. Uh, just come over here and you can find his hammer and his shield. Alright, so that's how you get those. If you guys are, you know, planning to make a bill off of him or something there you go that's the shield and then there's this hammer and another thing I want to get here is the hawk ring which you can get by collecting all those white branches that you see near the white trees 
that we encountered like three times. So after getting all those white branches, just come over here, take the elevator all the way up, all right? And once we get there, that's where the giant is at. So once you get all those white branches, you take it all the way up here. Um, let's go see the giant again. Okay. So there's the hawk ring. So if you guys have been collecting those white branches, there you go. That's how you can get it. All right. Um, yeah. It's kind of sad to see this guy die. But I thank you for all your help. Alright, so we're back at Firelink. Um, let's see what we can do here. Um, I think we pretty much cleared up everything. We can do Grey Rat's side story, but it's kind of pointless. So I'm just going to leave it like that. Yeah, let's go ahead and level up. Um, actually, you know what? Totally forgot about this, uh, the, uh, the Umbral Ash that we got from Arch Dragon Peak, I still have with me. Yeah, let's just get rid of it. Okay. And before we level up, there's still one more item that I haven't gotten. It's the Hawkwood's, Hawkwood's Shield. We still haven't gotten that shit yet, so let's go ahead and go get it. It's just right out the door here, and it's still loading. It's loading, loading, loading. Come on. Man, this this load takes forever. Hurry up, hurry up. Come on. There we go. So after you come out, just hang a left over here. Um, there is gonna be a dog here, so be careful. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Stop that. There we go. Come over here to this grave over here. And there is Hawkwood Shield. Ta da! So yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, yeah, I think we can go and level up in peace now. So let's just go ahead and head on back to the Firekeeper and do a little bit of upgrading before we go and take on the final boss in the next episode. So yeah, and before we level up, I'm actually going to turn her eyes in first to give her so yeah bear with me here guys ashen one are these are these eyes how gracious of thee ashen one the very things we fire keepers have been missing Ashen one, my thanks for the eyes thou hast given. But fire keepers are not meant to have eyes. It is forbidden. These will reveal through a sliver of light frightful images of betrayal. A world without fire. Ashen one, is this truly thy wish? Of course. I serve thee and will do as thou bidst. This will be our private affair. No one else may know of this. Stay thy path. Find lords to link the fire, and I will blindly tend to the flame until the day of thy grand betrayal. Very well. Then touch the darkness within me. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. Alright, so for this level up session, I'm just gonna get my HP and my endurance to 30. And put the rest on strength and dex. That seems to be good. Alright. Farewell, Ashen One. Mayst thou thy peace discover. Alright, yeah, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for this episode. 
So yeah, I thank you all for watching and I hope this video has been entertaining and helpful and enjoyable. And if y'all found all three of those qualities to be in this video, then hey, stay tuned for the next one because we're going to be taking on the final boss of Dark Souls 3. So yeah, uh, until then, I will see you all later. Holmes out.